Hello YouTube. Um, I thought I'd do a video on Dark Souls 3, which I've been playing a little bit recently, versus um, versus Elden Ring, which I played through, and I really had a good time and was really my first Soulsborne game. Uh, and I have not played. Uh, well, yeah, I, I said it was my first Soulsborne game. So I thought, let's just talk a little bit through, as I do a little bit of, uh, as I do a bit of Dark Souls 3, and just organize my thoughts a bit. Uh, and I think maybe I'll stream a little bit at the same time. Uh, let's, hopefully that'll work out. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I've ever streamed and recorded at the same time. Hopefully that'll go okay. Uh, I don't, this will be interesting. Hopefully the streaming and recording at the same time stuff will go go fine. But we'll see. Uh, I think it'll be useful to do both at the same time because it'll make sure that the software is going to uh, be well behaved for me. Because um, not having streamed a particular game before, uh, I don't know how how well or not having streamed or recorded a particular game before, it's good to just make sure that things go okay. So as I said, I played through Elden Ring before. I had a great time. It was my first time with that kind of game, and I'm kind of the sorcerer archetype in that I'm not super skilled, largely because I'm in my mid-40s, but also just I'm not a very fast witch type gamer. And so I'm more of a thinker. I'll study the game a lot, have a good time. Uh, is something going on upstairs? Sounds like something maybe is going on upstairs. Maybe. But yeah, I study the hell out of games as a substitute for having skill. Oh, yeah, definitely something's going on up here. Oh, yeah, uh, I just reached this fast travel point, because I kind of rushed through this area onto future areas. Oh, yeah. Hello, people. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Neat that you can actually get up here. Uh, and by study, I just mean I really went over the wiki, went to see what I could get. Oh, uh, well, I am called the crow, but here we are. I hear the old can get and learn something. Sure. Uh, most what? To reiterate the pleasure. <laughs> oh, and you're going to disappear. Well, that's cool. Hand axe, not super useful to me. Anyhow, uh, my character... Uh, so, I, when I was younger, I used to be better at fast twitch games. When I was very young, I enjoyed playing the original Ninja Gaiden for the NES 8. And, uh, but just as I've gotten older, it's gotten a little harder to play that type of game. Wow, that's kind of a generation glitch. I don't think boxes should generate that way. Fix it. Yeah, looking better now. Anyhow. So as I've gotten older, I've just started to enjoy more slower-paced games, turn-based strategy and stuff. But Elden Ring really was a fresh of breath air for me. Largely just because it didn't baby me so much. And it, it seemed reasonably generous. Uh, anyhow, this is my character. I'm playing a mage, but a mage with a sword. I have a nice sorcerer's staff that I've gotten all enchanted up. I have a crown of dust, which I think gives me some nice... Uh, let's see, does it actually show the enchantment? No, I think this has a hidden enchantment that gives you some uh, spellcasting boosts. Have a hovel's ring, which increases my maximum load, which makes sure I get some nice fast rolls. It's still a kind of dinky ring, but it's better than nothing. I have a few other rings, but nothing really that I care about that much. Nothing that's I'll probably just never use that. Um, I have reasonable amounts of estrus flasks, or estus. I keep calling it estrus because it's funny. Um, as you see with my stats, I've gotten my um, my strength and my decks up so that I can do this sword kind of as a backup weapon. And eventually I'm going to get the MP regen stuff up 
Uh, well, when, much later in the game, in Dark Souls 3, you can get MP regen as a... Uh, I don't remember what they call it, but as like the enchantment type for a weapon. That's going to be nice, because it just gives you a very slow but constant MP regen, which it's just going to be nice, because it means I'll never really run out of MP, provided that I'm patient and don't mind sitting around. But also getting my decks up means that I can use bows uh, whenever I want to. It'd be nice, but I like the fast rolling. That's really pretty nice, because it means I can be all dexterous and stuff. Nice and, nice and fun. I was getting my... Um, getting my weight load ratio way down, but then I just ended up chancing upon the hobble string, and I probably got my uh, my equip load down lower than I needed to, but whatever, whatever. Um, I was also just taking advantage of a glitch that lets me do, um, lets me farm souls really pretty quickly. Let me actually just show you that glitch, because it's kind of a fun glitch get that, you go over to the Keep Ruins. Yeah, I, I actually was just finishing up the Undead Settlement because I realized I missed a little bit of stuff here. Uh, and I missed the boss because I just kind of ran right through and went to the Road of Sacrifices. I think I might have also missed another exit from this area, which I will need to come back at some point and find it. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. It might be the... Um, Maybe the dilapidated bridge? Is the dilapidated bridge another area? Dark Souls 3. Dil dilapidated bridge. Dilapidated bridge. No, 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 no. That is not. Maybe, um, maybe, no, maybe there really is only one exit from here. I'm not sure. Um, let's see, where are, where are the places that you can go on from here? Road of Sacrifices? Oh, whatever. Anyhow. Um, oh no, I didn't happen upon that uh, that scroll. I actually got the transformy soul thingy do. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So what I was going to talk about actually is uh, what are the differences between here and Elden Ring that really make a difference? <coughs> and one of the big differences actually is just uh, there's a lot of UI differences where Dark uh, where Elden Ring just really they've made a lots of UI improvements. Like one of them is an aiming thing right in the middle of the screen that I, I miss a lot. Like you can do free aiming way easier in Elden Ring of your spells, whereas there's just a lot of guesswork. So uh, now your spells aren't particularly long range in this anyhow, but if you if you want to aim, free aim your spells, and you just have, you know, you have a little bit more uh, range to your spells than you can do a lock on. You just, you really kind of have to guess, and that sucks. Whereas um, Elden Ring, you, you just have a little aiming thing that's always there in the middle of the screen, and you can't really make it go away. But it's nice that it's there for when you have to do free aim. Also, Elden Ring is really very, very generous with regards to just giving you stuff. Now, a lot of the stuff is useless. You're just going to be continually scooping stuff up. Then later on, it usually ends up having some kind of a use. Um, Dark Souls 3? Not so much. I'm about to actually get started with this. Thing. I'm probably not the first person to discover this, but I did discover it all on my own. I didn't read about this somewhere. Ah, fudge. Okay, kind of screwed it up, but let's clear these guys out of the way first. Yeah. Okay, you didn't quite die. Oh, oh no, now you did. Cool, cool. Now, what is my target status? My target is 20,776. So this, let's first see if you dropped anything. Did anybody drop anything? No, you didn't. Okay, that's fine. 
So this is the, the fun part. You just drop a pestilent mist here. There you go. And you use the bonfire, and then you pop back out, and the mist actually spawns into the new world with you. And if you drop it in the right spot, it's right where enemies spawn. So they immediately take the damage, and you just go and wipe out the other guy. Then you drop this here. And you repeat. I think this just happens because essentially you enter the new world at the same time through the bonfire. It's a very fast and lazy way to do the kill. Now, admittedly, in Elden Ring, this would be much easier because you get that kind of toss the, the, what do you call it, cannon spell. So it's actually not quite as good as the, the Elden Ring equivalent. But it's still a pretty good way to rapidly uh, farm for souls. So let's talk a little bit more. The spell variety in Dark Souls 3 is not that amazing. It's not bad. But it's not, uh, but in Elden Ring, really, there's tons of sorceries. And it's just not here as much in Dark Souls 3. Still pretty uh, compelling, though, and I'm still kind of enjoying the game, but I, I'm kind of saving the novelty of... I, I, I'm tempted to go back and just play Elden Ring again, but I'm saving the novelty for, uh, for when the DLC comes out. Because I know I'm not sick of, of Elden Ring anymore. I would enjoy playing through again, and I, I'd like to probably do a faith build next time because I've never done one of those. But I I know if I were to play all the way through, then probably by the time the DLC comes out, I would be all tired out of it. And I, I'd rather save that novelty-ness for, uh, for the DLC. I'll probably do some kind of like a dragon focus build or something like that. I'll have a good time. But for now, just Dark Souls 3, it's scratching that itch, and I can deal with the UI maybe being a little cruddy. I'm still having an okay time here, and I'm enjoying seeing new, new content, even though, man, I, I really wish that they would just remaster this game. Bring forward some of the UI improvements, drop a lot of new spells and contents and stuff in. Like, they could kind of give some of the, the uh, Elden Ring treatments maybe to this game. I know that they're not going to make it an uh, open world, and that's fine, because that would just be a lot of effort, and it just wouldn't be reasonable to ask for that. But they could certainly drop some of the, retrofit some of the spells and stuff uh, from Elden Ring into Dark Souls 3. That would be pretty amazing. Anyhow. But yeah, the game's pretty. Like, I'm, I'm having a good time. Like, it's, it's not going badly. Um, and if, if, if I ever get sick of it, I'll just stop. Uh, now, the weapon variety is decent. It's not as, it's also not as big as Elden Ring. I think just Dark Souls 3, it's a, it's a moderately smaller game than Elden Ring. I think just Elden Ring just ended up being a bizarrely big game. Whoops, oh, well, did not quite mean to do that. Oh, I'll just go cast another one of these things, because they have a limited duration. And if you get cut in too close, then they suffer some damage, but they don't die. And I really just... I want the first pair of them to die from it. But, yeah, I think, like, FromSoft... Uh, I think they just want to, they could have, they did a big gamble with Elden Ring, and it paid off. But I'm wondering, like, would it have sunk the company if it hadn't paid off? Like, if, 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 it, if it had only been as successful as the uh, typical uh, Dark Souls game, would it have killed the company? Or did they know that, like, this is really a, a big gamble? And, uh, and, and that they were kind of betting the company on Elden Ring? And I don't know. Like, I'm wondering how expensive... I can probably just look this up. 
But yeah, Elden Ring was so much of a bigger game that, at least as far as I can tell. But yeah, they, they reused a lot of uh, a lot of assets from Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Like I've already seen a lot of enemies in common. Uh, I've seen some descriptions in common and stuff like that, and I've seen the earlier forms of it. Like, it just seems like they took a lot of stuff from this game, and presumably from earlier games in the series, and just kind of perfected it. Now, there are some things that are uh, clearly kind of filler content, like Elden Ring has... Uh, the repetitive dungeons are not a success story in Elden Ring, but everybody's kind of commented on that. And, and they're not, not a disaster. It's just they're, they're clearly not a success. But they're acceptable. Like, they're, they're not terrible. They're just not, definitely not a high point, and that's fine. They were just kind of a mostly copy-paste part. And they they provided more filler than anything else. And that's, that's, okay. that's okay. Now the music here is also kind of a failure, but uh, Elden Ring was also, in my view, a musical failure. And I know that some people really are going to disagree extremely strongly with me on that. Like, some people really like that kind of thing. But I, I need more. I need a lot more musically. Like, to me, good music is Cyberpunk 2077. Good music is Skyrim. Like, there's some really memorable banging songs. But to me, you really have to search hard in Elden Ring to find any tunes that you do remember. And there are a few tunes that you can kind of remember, but you, it's, it's not most of them. Whereas with, with Skyrim, I can name a lot of tunes that are memorable, like Unbroken Road. Unbroken Road is just a good wandering around the countryside tune, and it is just a solidly good tune. Oh yeah, I think I might have gotten, or I might be very near leveling, so we'll go do some. Let's, uh, let's finish this guy off, see if we've leveled, and if we have, we can go do some. Let's see, what do we got? 20776. Okay, yeah, that, that's enough to level. Let's, let's go level, then we'll see what we can do. Okay, yes. Off to the Firelink Shrine now. There's also this travel where it, it kind of sucks that you need to have to head back to a hub level to level up. Maybe it makes sense for story region uh, reasons, but man, is it annoying. Like, why Why do I have to do Welcome this? Home, speak. Very well. Then touch take yep, yep, yep. Uh, what do I want to do? Um, well... Oh yeah, this gives me another attunement slot, which gives me one more slot for a spell. That is fine, and I get a little bit more FP. That's good. I've been saving for that, and we can leave. And I won't be doing more FP for a little while, but, but let's... Uh, do I have... No, I don't. Okay, let's attune another spell. What do we want? Um... <clears throat> Uh, we're not really doing the sword things because um, because we have actually a nice sword that we've made good at magic. Maybe that great Farron dart might be useful. do that. Just it might be nice to have a really fast casting spell. Okay, now what is next? We are going to pop on over to... Um, we already did the Old World Wolf of Farron. I think we were having trouble somewhere with the Farron Keep Perimeter. Mm -hmm. 
so this is probably a good area to actually do some of the stuff in. Might have been out here actually. I think there were actually some knights out here that kind of kicked my butt. They might kick my butt again though. Oh yeah, these things. Yeah, they were pretty nasty. sure what the best way to deal with them is. I wonder, do they fight those other guys? Oh, they do. Oh, but they're actually very effective at fighting those other guys. Maybe I can just let them do it and avoid them. I don't really want to get involved in any of that stuff. Oh, look, well, they're just pretty amazing. Ah. Oh, hello. Uh, actually, I guess I mean I could let them do XP farming for me, maybe not be a bad plan, except uh, I do want to stay out of their way. Oh, they're doing more fighting. That's cool. Uh-oh. Hello. There we see like how nice it is to have a good sword. Uh, well, good magic aligned sword. Oh, okay, yeah. This is definitely an area where I haven't been before. What is going on down there? Oh, okay. They are actually they're down to half health. I don't really want to fight them. Because they really are kind of kicking butt. And I'm hearing some sounds in there. I'm hearing some jingle jingle jangle. And I see another person over here. I'm not sure, can I get behind you without you noticing me? I guess so. Oh, maybe not quite over here. Oh, and you get some misty, soapy stuff. Okay, well. Definitely sounds like something's going on in there. And you guys are being annoying. I'm not sure I, I actually can kill you guys. You're going to be kind of annoying. Yeah. Well, shucks. I guess maybe I could try and kill them. But it might be a kind of a tall order, given that, like, they thoroughly kicked my butt before. Like, very thoroughly. Um. Is there anywhere else that I can go that's useful? Or is that kind of it? That might be kind of it. Well, I guess there's another path. Oh, oh, oh. that's useful or not. It does seem to be a nice little narrow path, but this might be kind of the end of that. Yeah, that, that might be it. So let's see, what, what else is going on? Um, right, okay. So this is going to I think those actually are the barrier, and unfortunately they stopped right in front of the door. So this is probably a boss fight up ahead, and I need to figure out 
do I just want to go try and fight the boss? I don't even know what the boss is. But chances are that the boss really is what I need to do next. And they are kind of really what I need to do. Well, I guess let's start it off with... if that works. about that mist thingy is that it doesn't make a lot of noise. Ooh. Did it kill the other one? If it killed one of you, if it killed both of you, then that's great. No, I mean, it didn't kill both of you. One of you is still there. But if it killed the other one, then that is really pretty fantastic. Where did the other one go? What, what is that? Is that... I don't really want the other one sneaking up behind me in a second. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let us see. Well, we can do this again. Let's see how this goes. Okay, uh, that went pretty okay. Um, Maybe we're okay to go through the door. I don't see the other one. Maybe the other, the other one got killed. Yeah. Uh, dark gauntlets. Cracked red eye orb. I do not see anybody else here. This is probably a boss fight. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Let's get out our mist. Let's see what happens. I'm probably about to go get creamed. But let's see. What am I... What is about to happen? Okay. Cutscene. And probably a boss. But I'm enjoying this mist thing. Like the, the mist spell, it is... Oh! Okay, two people fighting each other. That is not a good sign. Oh, okay, somebody is looking at me. Um, uh, not great. to kill me. Oh, 
Confusing fight. I am not sure who was really. Oh. There's some blood and fire stuff going on there, I guess. Hold back. Wait, where, where's my enemy? Oh, there you are. Oh, and I'm out of juice. Let's drink the juice. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. I'm not doing this right. Oh, I'm really not doing this right. Okay, I'm doing this a little bit more right. Oh, no. Still not doing it right enough. But that's, that's Dark Souls for you, yeah, or Elden Ring. It's old porn games where you have to learn how to do them right. And but I, I, I enjoy that. It's a lot more fun, I think, than a lot of these... Uh, games that baby you too much. Okay, you guys, you're gonna run forward. Oops, I kind of messed that up a little bit too much. I would prefer not to, uh, to I'd, I'd like to run in without having this little bit of damage done to me, so we're gonna pop back in. I don't think I actually had enough uh, so souls to really care about recovering them. Generally, that's what you want in a boss fight. You want to enter a boss fight and just not care about the souls that you lose. That's a good attitude to go in. It does mean that you kind of want to figure out exactly when you're doing a boss fight. Beforehand, if you can. Hello, so, Mr. Akimara. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is good stuff. Well, I do enjoy the spellcasting stuff. Man, does it feel good to sneak up. Oh, I didn't quite manage it. Does it feel great? 
great to slip in and uh, just do that backstab animation. It just feels fantastic. Okay, there we go. Slip in. Phase of the fight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Might not even make it to the second phase because I've screwed this up a little bit. Why not? Wow. That was pretty funny. I think the real, real thing, thing that you should, you just have, have to, to sit back, back and let the, let them fight, fight each other for the first phase, which takes patience. Actually, this is an, an area with unusual mechanics. Because you want to have enough patience that... So juicy when you get it right. Oh, mm. chest kiss. Oh, it's just so, so good. Oh, oh, oh whatever. Actually, though, just the general sword swings feel pretty good in this, too. I'm, I'm not going to go back and do it. That. I'll, I'll just kind of slip in. Why not? Yeah, Frontoft, they were building on a really solid foundation when they did Elden Ring. I don't think they could have done Elden Ring from scratch. They needed to build on top of Dark Souls. The whole series. I can probably do this, I just 
Oh, no, no. Need to do this at the right time. I can start doing a good job at this. No, no, didn't do a good job at that. I needed to time that, but really, uh, I... A lot of this is about paying attention and uh, not screwing up. So part of it is about self-control, part of it's about paying attention. And a lot of it, this does get easier the more practice you get, but a lot of it really is just about forcing yourself not to screw up. Get that chef's kiss moment. But be smart and don't screw up. That is one of the lessons that generally serves you pretty well in life. You guys can have fun over there, do your thing. I think we're going to give it one more time, uh, one more try, because I do. Uh, I don't want to actually spend a lot of time banging my head against this wall. But, uh, we'll see if we can get it. We probably won't, but why not? Give it a try. But yeah, Elden Ring, they did perfect a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I should have I should have realized that my stamina was a little low. We're gonna have another one popping in in a second. Yep, there's our second friend. Okay, back off. Oh, should have backed off a little further. Actually, if I if I really want to be serious, then I should reallocate another uh, Estus slab to help. Okay. Oh. Well, shouldn't have done that. Should have paid a little bit more attention. There's a third friend. Oh, shouldn't have done that. You, can, you apparently really have to do that as a dodge. You can't do that as, a, as further running. That up. Yep. But that's, that's where we are. Um, the, the basic conclusion, and we're going to uh, leave the game here. Basic conclusion is that uh, although Elden Ring did dumb down some elements of the series, they built on other elements of the series very well. And there would be no Elden Ring without all the gradual building of contents and lessons from Dark Souls. And so, really, Elden Ring is kind of the perfection and culmination and a little bit of dumbing down from the Dark Souls series. And I say this as somebody who didn't play Dark Souls, but is now recognizing where all this came from. And a lot of it probably came from the budget, from all this, uh, from all the effort that came from, and all the funds and all the developers that they were able to pay uh, that came from successfully building a franchise. So they did a good job, and it's amazing what they were able to do with all this, and I'm glad that they were able to, to build it all. So those are my thoughts from what I've seen from Dark Souls, from Elden Ring. I'm glad to have played both games. I'm hoping to get through the rest of Dark Souls, um, and I'm hoping to replay Elden Ring when the DLC comes out. I'm really enjoying uh, both. So thank, thank you, FromSoft, from for giving me a great gaming experience. Bye-bye.